Well, hello and welcome to the Lawn Club. Today we're focused on one thing and one thing only, and that is to level out a couple areas of the lawn, plant some new grass seed, and get some major, major domination and success when it comes to these tasks. Let's get started. Step number one for this is obviously getting your materials. So I went to my local Lowe's. I got some Scott's topsoil. This is two or three bucks per bag. And then of course, once you're done with the topsoil, which we'll get into, you're gonna need grass seed, starter fertilizer, and water, and then you're ready for success. So let me quickly show you an area that I've already attempted to do some leveling. You can see we got some germination happening right about now. So we have this area to do still and this area to do still. Now that we've got our supplies, we'll move on to step number two, which is of course identifying the area and then identifying what level means for that area. So in this case right here, I'm gonna take something that's long and essentially flat or level and see how much gap there is when I put it down on the ground. You can see here, we've got a bit of a gap, so we're gonna have to build this up, which is gonna cover some grass and it will kill that grass, but remember, we're gonna plant new grass. Any grass that is there and can sprout up through the topsoil, make sure that you have that above the soil so that it can continue to grow and thrive. Now that we're good with step two, let's move on to three, which is essentially executing. We're gonna put down the topsoil, level it out. One additional thing that I'm gonna do, which isn't 100% necessary because we're gonna be putting topsoil down, but I'm gonna take the weasel. I'm gonna rough up these areas. We can see it is pretty compact. Um, so I wanna open this up a little bit so that it's accepting of new grass and new roots. Before I continue to finish this out and pile more on for step three, I wanted to show you what I meant by some existing grass sticking out. This will continue to grow and thicken because it has access to the light. This is five bags that's gone from that corner to this end. Everything looks pretty, pretty level in some areas like this and around this area where we measured earlier, it is pretty thick. Now that we're done with that, step four is obviously putting down some seed and preparing that. I obviously have a lot more supplies I need to go buy at the store, so I will do that at another time. But let's go get some seed on this. For my seed of choice, I have an open bag of turf type tall fescue here that I'll be using. And then also just some Scott starter fertilizer any of these products and things like that, I'll try and have them linked down in the description if you wanna get any. As you can see, I'm putting this down by hand. If you have a little hand spreader or something like that that you'd like to use, obviously that's a great, that's a great thing to do. Um, but I feel comfortable with my rates and things like that, just putting it down by hand. One thing that I'm really focusing on is the edges. I don't want this getting into my mulch bed. So I'm being very careful and diligent about trying to not get it in the mulch bed but keep it right on that line so I can get a nice crisp edge. So I'm then gonna come down here and gently rake this in. I don't wanna get it out of level, but obviously I wanna be able to get some seed to soil contact and also spread the seed out so it doesn't compete with each other. Then it has the best opportunity once I start watering it to germinate and grow hopefully within five to seven days with this grass type. I wish that you could hear these birds right back here. I'm pretty sure they're just having this conversation of like, this dude's putting down a whole new dinner for us. Like we're about to feast in the next five days. It's really gonna be something. So I've put down the starter fertilizer. Here's what it looks like at the end. All I need to do now is just put some water on this to get it started. And then I'm watering this consistently at a minimum of three times per day to make sure that it stays damp until we get germination, which again, this is a really, really good example right here. We have germination. I'm gonna continue to water this until it gets about this high when I can give it its first mow. And then at that point, we can cut back on the watering. So as I just mentioned with the watering, that is essentially step number five. And that is really the determining factor of success when it comes to this whole process. So make sure you do not skip out on the watering. And of course, because the whole point of this video was about leveling a section, we can see here that we are now a lot closer to level. It'll look even better 
once grass continues to grow. So pretty much at this point, we've got everything down. We got the initial watering in. The good news is it looks like the next two, three days, there could be some rain, which would be perfect. Then I don't have to come out and water a whole bunch. I can just kind of rely on mother nature to do her job. So let's see how those couple days go. And in a perfect world, in five to seven-ish days, we should have some germination and we will be looking really good and nice and crispy along those mulch bed edges. Stick around for a future video where I will show you the results at that point. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Hope you learned something. All products are down in the description if you'd like to get something. Really appreciate if you give the video a thumbs up. Maybe a subscribe. A lot more to come with this type of content. And we'll see you next time. Peace.